Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an author who has over 1.1 million followers on Instagram. He's known as the self-love ambassador. But if you are one of his followers already, then you know that he touches on everything from relationships to finances and even self-preservation. That's a good one right there. Mm -hmm. Today, he's here to tell us how to realize if you're wasting time in a relationship. Please welcome to the circle, Derek Jackson. Hey, yes. Derek! Hey. <laughs> I'm well, man. Yes. Glad to be here. Yes. How y'all doing? Doing great. great. It's good yeah. to have you inside the studio mm -hmm. and yes. not in the car. Yes. Yes. In my car, To so give us some good information. Okay. Now, how did you become this self-love <laughs> ambassador and being so popular on the Instagram? You know, it was really unexpected. Yeah. I had just got out of a relationship in college. I went to the Tuskegee University. Okay, Tuskegee! Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, so I was okay, with my longtime buddy. girlfriend, but because of my immaturity, my antics, and all that other good stuff, man, I ended up ruining a good thing. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't nearly as glamorous as what they make it seem in all the rap songs and all the movies. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? It wasn't no confetti dropping or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I just went to social media to vent about how we've been banned boozled as men like it's not really lit mm. to have a good girl and then do a good girl wrong and then lose that good girl yeah. wow. and I think that's what the relationship dialogue space was missing so people just gravitated mm. wow. Wow. that's a good point it's not really lit to be terrible the grass, <laughs> <laughs> it's not really fun. The grass is not green on that side it's I can not. tell you that's that. yes. 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 well listen uh, you, you say you're gonna come here and you're gonna give us some tips on <laughs> a brother wasting your time what are some of the signs is that what I said yeah <laughs> in a teleprompter, so well, now you say it. Any time that you are coming into any situation and you're transparent about what it is that you want, mm -hmm. what you're about, and you tell that person, but they got a hidden agenda, they're thinking about mm -hmm. themselves, so they try to present something knowing that's not what they're bringing, mm -hmm. you're probably about to waste your time. What are some of the signs? So a lot of women are looking for something serious, and whenever a guy comes into a relationship or a dating situation, they presume that, you know what, if I tell her I'm her soulmate, she's my boo, my bae, mm -hmm. in the first couple of days, basically moving too fast, mm -hmm. but not physically, mm -hmm. emotionally, mm -hmm. that's going to get a caught up. Caught up. Mm -hmm. So you already oh, know he's trying to bypass the getting to know you process. He's not looking for something long term. Mm -hmm. He just wants that long term access to you. Mm -hmm. That's the first sign. That's good. Second Tell sign. Him. Tell on him. Is if he's dead broke. And I know this is going to offend Don't some people. I don't want broke, child. Hey, look, this is going to offend. This is going to offend some people. Tell him about it. I'm not saying that you're undeserving of love as a man or woman if you ain't got your money right. right. But. If you out here dating, trying to cuddle and put somebody in your bed and you can't put food on the table, mm. you got bad priorities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then thirdly, if he's already sharing the attention that he's supposed to be giving you with his phone, with girls walking past, like what mm. do you think gonna happen whenever he get used to you? Mm. Oh, mm. when they get Ooh. used to you. You ain't gonna have like, you ain't got the new car smell no more. What you Ooh. think is gonna happen whenever you guys get deep into a relationship? You call us a car. That's telltale. Mm. All oh, time. Just call them all. Yeah, we remind them of his G. Uh, why do you think women always, you know? <laughs> why, do, why do you think women always get Give chance after chance after chance after chance, and then when you cut them off, the people think that you did them wrong. You ain't doing wrong. You just cut them off. I, you, the, uh, where the people peeped you. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what happened over in that side of the section. The first problem. <laughs> and things kind of say. The first problem right. is giving chance after chance after chance. Like we grown. Right. right. You you knew after the first time, and really you wasn't even owed a second chance. It was a privilege to get the first one. Come on. Mm. That's so what if you I'm don't saying. do right by that one, I don't see why you give a chance after chance to don't begin with. Don't give the chance. I, I don't give the chance. The people <sighs> get cut off. So. <laughs> Well, why does it have to be so complicated with all these rules, or is not is it not complicated at all? I won't necessarily say complicated. We just haven't had enough of the right dialogue. You know, it's a right and a wrong way to do everything. What does that look like or sound like? Well, think about it like this. Nothing's so black and white, like nothing's so cut and dry. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the NBA and the athlete, there's a right and a wrong way to shoot. Everybody right. got their own way of doing it, mm -hmm. but there's a right and a wrong way to try that to make that person. shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So many people say, you know what, I'm going to go into this date in a relationship situation just following my heart. Like your heart ain't even supposed to be in it yet. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be following the lessons that you've learned, your, their, your experiences in the past. Mm -hmm. But so many people say, you know what, I need this. I, I feel like I'm supposed to have that as a woman by this age. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. where you get caught up. They get caught up in stuff. society. Right. So you got to live for you. Exactly. You don't worry about it. Society, because yep. society have you thinking that you're supposed to go out here and work real hard and yes. be slaving at home and then right. taking care of the kids and then yep. he don't help you at all. <laughs> <laughs> in a number of ways, uh, so it's, you know, it's not that black and white. So what happens, what are some of the exceptions to some of these things, and are they just coincidence? Honestly, 
I don't want to encourage anybody to go off the exception. Like we don't want to treat the rule as if that like it's insignificant and doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That's how you play yourself. You get into that Twilight movie, you get into those Tyler Perry movie scripts too much, and then you go out here forgetting that, you know what? If it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, it's walks cracking. like a duck, it's it quacking. probably ain't a moose. It's <laughs> it's it's oh so I, I don't even go off the exception. Yeah. It's like, you know what? If you get an exception, you're lucky. Consider yourself lucky, but your heart is too important to be relying on luck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Say, yeah. like, when you're talking about heartbreak, you're talking about like Russian roulette. You could ruin your ability to ever love again. Come on. Out here playing mm. around. Just turn real cold Ooh. on them. Exactly. Yeah. And speaking mm. of that, you know, a lot of people get into relationships, and I always feel like it's a cycle, and that's why people, you know, like if you were hurt in the last relationship, mm. yep. then you bring that baggage into the next relationship. Right. Right. and then it's a cycle. Good so what's your advice on people who have been hurt, mm -hmm. but then they want to try again? Like, how should they approach it yeah. after they've gone through something traumatic yeah. prior to? Mm -hmm. First step is dealing with that baggage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to put it in correct perspective and detach yourself from the things that you've been through apart from your worth and what you deserve. Mm -hmm. Because whenever you bring that in, you know what? You learned that you were somebody deserving of being hurt, being lied to, neglected, cheated on, or whatever happened in the past. But if you didn't detach, then that's, that's guess what? You lower your standard going forward. Mm -hmm. Now, every Everybody's allow you to do the exact same way because you became mm -hmm. tolerant to it in the past. But it what, just didn't what work if it out. happened to you one time and then you just a soldier? Then like if it, it, it happened what? one time oh, and then from that point on you like, oh that looked like that out. You oh, know that, what? Oh no. Oh you oh. sound like oh. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Uh -uh. What if you do that? What you if either, you become you, that person? You yes. either in beast mode <laughs> or you bitter. Beast mode. <laughs> It's, it's one or the other. It's beast. Trina, look at you. If I'm you, telling you. If Trina's you are correctly playing. identifying that these people came to waste your time and you cutting them off, right. it's going to feel like you're cutting them off too yeah. soon. That's one That's one of the side good effects. To me. Uh -huh. No, nothing's I mean, wrong with not that. Me. It's going to feel like that. Okay. That's all. Okay. I got to get out of here. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got your hands cold. Uh, uh, this segment with me, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Get your crown and to keep up with Derek and get some more motivation just like this, follow him on IG at Derek Jackson, J A X N. Give it up for Derek Jackson. Yay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.